This is Justin Trudeau. Mr. Trudeau is the Prime Minister of Canada. Him and his government have just announced that it would require visas for Mexican nationals to enter the country due to the massive surge in asylum seekers from Mexicans arriving in Canada. The rule follows months of discussions between the two countries over the rise in the number of Mexicans entering Canada, with many provincial officials saying a surge of asylum seekers has strained their resources and their ability to provide social services. I think um, when rules are being broken like that, then having the restriction is, uh, is necessary. That's very upsetting for us because we are trying to make Canada a living. So for our family, it means another step um, or another boundary. Justin Trudeau had repeatedly tried to address the issue with Mexico's President Andres Manuel López Obrador, but failed to resolve the issue. Even the Canadian immigration minister wasn't happy about the whole situation, saying at a news conference, we needed to give Mexico the chance to rectify things because of our friendship and this clearly was not done, so we had to take a decision. While the majority of Mexican travellers arriving in Canada to work, visit family, travel or study, we have faced a rising number of asylum claims from the region. In 2023 alone, asylum claims from Mexican citizens accounted for 17% of all claims made that year from all nationalities around the world. Most asylum claims from Mexico are either rejected by the Immigration Refugee Board of Canada or withdrawn or abandoned by the applicant. And so a change was needed. What we're seeking is a balance in the flow of people between our two countries and a recalibrating of resources here in Canada. Canada's visa policy decisions are made in an effort to support travel and people-to-people -people connections while maintaining a safe and orderly migration system. As of today, at 11.30 p.m. Eastern, Mexican citizens will need a visa to come to Canada or obtain a valid electronic travel authorization if they hold a valid U.S. non-immigrant visa or have held a Canadian visa in the past 10 years and are traveling by air on a Mexican passport. Mexican citizens who meet these conditions will be able to apply an ETA for an ETA instead of a visa to fly to Canada. We're enhancing and strengthening the electronic travel authorization program while ensuring Mexican citizens can still enjoy coming to Canada to work, to visit, uh, or study. With the high number of our Mexican clientele currently holding U.S. visas, those that do will continue to be able to fly to Canada without a visa. The majority of Mexican citizens then will still be able to travel using an ETA. The visa mandate, which went into effect Thursday night, had been lifted by Prime Minister Trudeau in 2016 to boost tourism and as a sign of the close ties between the two countries. Since then, the number of Mexican asylum claims has soared to roughly 24,000 last year from 268 years ago. I think there's a lot of collateral damage and I think that's the sad part. About 17% of all Canadian asylum claims last year were filed by Mexican nationals. The Canadian Immigration Minister continued to air out his frustration, stating that most asylum claims from Mexico are rejected, withdrawn or abandoned therefore clogging up an immigration system already facing difficulties trying to cope with a mounting backlog of refugee claims definitely has ripple effects. For some Mexicans who can afford plane tickets, flying to Canada has become an alternate route to the United States, allowing them to avoid the smugglers who control the paths to the US southern border.